Welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. Eileen Gruba is in the house. She is an actress, she is a producer, and she is a disability advocate, gracing the cover of Ability Magazine. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Such it's my pleasure, you. really. I'm, I'm excited to be here. So, Thank Cornell, you. how did you find Eileen? Uh, like everybody in my life, through someone else. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I found through Shelly. Uh, there's, a, there's a woman named Shelly that I met like two weeks before I met Eileen. Mm -hmm. And she was telling me, she was like, there's this actress, she's amazing, you have to have her come to speak at the summit. Well, let me guess, uh, Dr. Shelly yes. inspired Dr. Yes. 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 We know her very yeah. well. So Dr. Shelly, uh, said you have to have her come speak at the summit, and then me and Eileen, uh, connected. And so I flew in yesterday at 10.30, and then right from me getting my car, I drove to this amazing event that her, that she was doing with Paul. Paul Ford, uh, yes. Paul mm -hmm. Ford, uh, for actors with disabilities. So I flew in, spoke, and then went on throughout my day, so she's just an amazing human being. Cool. Thank you. Eileen, I would love to know a little bit more about your journey. You know, I, I read the article on this issue of Ability Magazine. You're on the cover of it. Um, and you are such an example of, uh, of just continuing to live your dreams regardless of your disability. And, you know, you're not labeled by that. You are not stopped by that. And for me, I find that so inspiring. There's a story in here about you playing in Cinderella. And you wore construction boots, yes. not a glass slipper, construction <laughs> boots. And I thought, wow. <laughs> now that is a woman who really has figured it out. So tell us a little bit about your, your journey. Take us back there. Okay, so I was a happy, healthy, normal, active child like everyone else. And then we got vaccines for school and one of the vaccines attacked my spinal cord. I was just under five years old. It uh, nearly killed me. They told my parents I wouldn't live. And when I did, they said she'll never walk again. Mm. And I just never could wrap my head around that, so I didn't. <laughs> and I just, uh, I kept trying. I literally was the kid that they just stuck me in a wheelchair and they were like, well, there's that. And uh, I just kept trying to force my weight on my legs every day. I would slide out of bed on my stomach and try to put my, because I didn't understand why I couldn't walk anymore. And then I fell many, many times, many, many days, many, many months. I, and um, after about, I think it was about a year, a year and a half, I was able to start to stand a little on my bed like a two-year-old trying to learn how to walk. And then eventually I had a walker and then many, many, many surgeries, even two over the last year and a half, major rebuilds um, and cancer from all the x-rays when I was a kid. And the, the journey, I, if I told you it all, <laughs> If I didn't have the scars to prove it, you wouldn't believe it. But you're right. I never, I never allowed my challenges to stop me from doing what I wanted to do. How did you stay so positive during that? Because I think so many people would be angry, resentful. I will say that you have your ups and downs. You have your times when you're angry. And I have this little saying I like to say, which is punch out, not in. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to beat myself up because people don't like my scars or my challenges or whatever, I'm gonna punch out creatively into my work, into my characters. And incidentally, I end up playing a lot of these really wild characters <laughs> who literally punch people on South <laughs> Bay and wow. stuff. You know, but, but I mean out, take wow. that energy yes. out into the world and, and create change. And as a small child who went from being perfectly normal to severely challenged and fighting for my life and then figuring out how to walk again and thinking oh this is so cool I remember the first day that I went to school and mom pushed me into my wheelchair and I couldn't wait to show everyone that I could stand because I, mm -hmm. I and I stood and my legs bent all the way backwards and and I was so excited and then I was shocked to find out how mean everyone was going to be because mm -hmm. now I had a, a disability wow and I um I'm very passionate when I talk about this because the harder the battle became trying to be an actress with a flaw, because we're, we're in this industry that perpetuates this illusion of perfection mm -hmm. that only puts a weight on the entire human race mm -hmm. that they can't live up to because perfection is an illusion. And uh, the harder the resistance for me, the more I was like, you know what, I've been through worse. I will stick it out. I will find a way. There were days when I was mad and then when I got mad, I would smile in my head and say, you know, it's okay because I'm going to come back and I'm going to fire you one day. <laughs> you know, that, 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 and that drove me. But the biggest drive was um, me thinking about all those little kids coming up into the world. And I do not want one more child who has fought for their life 
to go into the ugly, mean world of bullying and abuse that I went into. I don't want another kid to go through that and then go into the adult, adult work world and not be allowed to work because they've got scars that should be honored. Mm. Honored, not hidden. Oh, thank you so much for your inspirational story. Oh my gosh, it's so inspiring. So inspiring. So we need more people speaking that are in your genre, if you will, as far as representing all of our oneness together. Hashtag so all right? in, yes. all, all in. in, because yep. every human being has a purpose. And with this community of people with challenges, which by the way is 20% of the human race, and they've been forced to be hidden and hide their challenges and not be allowed to participate in the world and on screen. And they're not represented accurately, wow. which is why people fear their challenges so much. I'm like, you want to see strong right. women? I know where they are. Thank you so much. <laughs> you want to put them on TV? Oh my right? gosh. She's representing. <laughs> yeah. At the summit. Yes. That's right. Yes. yes. I love that. I am. Yes. I am. So I'm extremely passionate about it because I feel like we've been keeping out our game changers, our own problem solvers. And they are mighty. They've done nothing but adapt, adjust, overcome all their lives. They're good at it. So why would we keep out our own game changers? Mm, so true. This doesn't make any sense to me. You know? Know. Eileen, you are a game changer. Sure. <laughs> I have no sure. doubt that you will have an incredible influence Thank you. on the world of entertainment. Thank you. And the world itself. <laughs> Thank you for being here and being Thank with us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Really Where can people it. find your work? Um, you can find me. I just became the um, global inclusion ambassador for... Um, uh, or, or, remember, we keep. <laughs> yeah, it's a long title. You know? I was, I was hoping you were going to look to your left. Brand I, ambassador God. for global disability inclusion, and and um and so my story is starting to go out all over, inspiring lives. You can find me all over Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere at at Eileen Gruba, G R U B B A. And my, if you Google my name, you can pretty much find me anywhere under my name. Perfect. Thank, Thank you, you so much. So yep. Thank Stay you. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs>